Hey guys, welcome to a brand new Snooker 19 video. I'm Joe, if you're new around here. Make sure you click that subscribe button for daily Snooker 19 content. Today, we have a, something a little bit different. We're going to have Snooker 19 predicting the 2019-20 season. Now, we'll get into what that means in a minute. Uh, but basically, we're going to skip every event. We're going to see who wins each tournament and we're going to see what effect that has on the rank. And uh, me and my good friend, Cap uh, Captain Goodspeed, <laughs> I didn't do it with myself. I did it with my good friend, TIJ um, Gaming. His, his channel's on the homepage. And we had a right laugh doing it. Uh, we went about six, seven years in the future. It was, it was really quite interesting. So uh, I thought we'd do a video on it. But what I'm going to do to do it is uh, I'm going to, I guess, pick a rising star. Um... Let's pick Hong Hao. Why not? Or my mate Elliot Slesser. Why not? We'll, we'll be him. We'll stick it on hard. We'll stick it on no aim and aid. We'll stick it on long matches. Um, but we're not going to be playing any matches in this episode. We are simply going to be skipping the tournaments and seeing what the results are. Um, <laughs> now, the, a lot of this comes from uh, me being <coughs> originally... A football manager youtuber so I've, I've done this sort of thing quite a lot in the past um, but you know we'll see what happens uh, with it I, I'm, I'm actually quite curious but um, you know we'll, we'll have some editing in there as well but uh, you can see that the defending champions for those tournaments Neil Robinson and uh, Mark Williams so here we go the the Kaspersky Riga Masters who are the finalists Barry Hawkins and Mark Selby are the finalists in this first tournament so let's see who wins it it's Mark Selby he beat uh, Barry Hawkins by five frames to three uh, Kyron Wilson with a 147 being the tournament high break so moving on we got the Yushan World Open so who's gonna win this one we got Judd Trump versus Ronnie O'Sullivan in the final. Who's going to win it? It's Ronnie. He beats Judd Trump by 10 frames to 5. A high break, fairly low really, for a, a tournament. A 1-2-3 by Ronnie O'Sullivan there. So here we are then at the Paul Hunter Classic. Let's see what happens here. Kyron Wilson is obviously the defending champion, but he's not going to win it this time because it's Mark Williams versus the ace in the pack, Judd Trump. And Judd Trump wins it by four frames to two, and he also had a 147 in the tournament, so a very good tournament for Judd Trump. Now, the Six Red World Championship, a, a less interesting event, I know, but uh, let's see who wins it anyway. Mark Selby versus Mark Allen this time. Let's see what happens. Mark Allen beats Mark Selby by eight frames to six. Now, that won't have any effect on the ranking. Um, this time we will have a look at the rankings after the UK Championship I think that's a good point you know a good few tournaments uh, into the season and we'll see if anything's really changed so uh, moving on we have uh, the Shanghai Masters we're not part of that but John Higgins taking on Ronnie O'Sullivan in the final and John Higgins comes out on top 5-4 beating Ronnie in the final and that is meant to be a best of 19 uh, match unfortunately on this game. I think it's glitched out and it's a best of nine But even so John Higgins beat Ronnie O'Sullivan by five frames to four Moving on to the Indian Open then Matt Selt the defended champion He's not gonna win it this time though because Ronnie is taking on Ding Junhui But Ronnie comes out on top five a one victory against him there The old rivals there China Championship now and it's Judd Trump versus Ronnie. Starting to see a little pattern here. Ronnie's starting to, to get to a few finals. And he wins this one 10 3 over Judd Trump. That is a resounding victory there. So we'll see you at the next tournament. Well, the European Masters now. Uh, the reigning champion is Jimmy Robertson. Could it be another Robertson winning it this time? Neil Robertson, the Thunder from Down Under, taking on the Rocket, Ronnie O'Sullivan. And Ronnie O'Sullivan does win it nine frames to three. Very, very good from him there. And uh, I'm, I'm guessing we're going to see him uh, <laughs> doing very well in, in, in the rankings come UK Championship time. English Open then, the start of the home series. We'll keep note of who wins these ones, see if there's any £1 million bonus uh, at the end of the four tournaments. So the first one, Judd Trump versus Mark Selby. Of course, Stuart Bingham 
the defending champion here. Who's going to win this one? It's Mark Selby, the jester from Leicester, 9-6 over Judd Trump. Uh, well played to Mark Selby. The international championship then. Judd Trump versus Ronnie O'Sullivan. Defending champion Mark Allen. It's Judd Trump that comes through this time. Avengers is 10-3 defeat in uh, the China Championship, I think, and beats Ronnie by 10 frames to 7 this time. What about the champion of champions? Who's going to win this one? Mark Selby versus Ronnie O'Sullivan. Can Ronnie keep up his incredible record at this tournament? Yes, he can. He beats Mark Selby 10-7. What a fantastic performance from him. And now the bet victor at Northern Ireland Open. Selby won the first one. Who's going to win this one? Well, it's not Mark Selby, so no £1 million bonus this time. Allen versus O'Sullivan. And O'Sullivan comes through deciding frame 9-8. Well, here's the UK Championship, the halfway point of the season in my book. The first triple crown event of the season. Ronnie's been on fire. And he gets to another final. He, he's uh, taking on Judd Trump this time. Oh, Judd Trump wins it 10 8. That is an interesting result. He beats Ronnie 10 8, can, uh, uh, stops the uh, Ronnie domination of that tournament. Uh, the last three years, uh, well, no, the last two years he won that um, before this tournament. So let's see what effect it has had on the rankings. So we're obviously. Uh, bottom we haven't played in anything this season so Ronnie O'Sullivan is leading the way Joe Trump up to number three in the world Mark Williams not having the best of seasons so far he's uh, down at number four but Ronnie running away with uh, the <laughs> the rankings at the moment he's 400,000 ahead of Selby Trump is in third Higgins in fifth Allen sixth Robertson seventh Wilson eighth uh, Junwi in 9th with uh, Hawkins in 10th, Murphy, Bingham, Brassell, Maguire, Lazowski, Gilbert. So the top 16 is the same. Uh, Ryan Day hasn't managed to, to get into that just uh, just yet. But um, let's see if there's any surprise names as we, as we scroll down. Gary Wilson, of course, World Championship semi-finalist this year. Uh, he's down in 29 at the moment. Um... But yeah, no real surprises there. Ken Doggerty still at 64, Dominic Dale at 65, uh, the Sheriff of Pottingham, Anthony Hamilton at 63 as well, McManus there as well, 61, so some, some great players down here, Jimmy White uh, still at rank at number 74. So those are the rankings at the halfway point. Let's have a look at what happens in the Scottish Open then. The third leg of the Home Nation series here we go. Williams versus O'Sullivan. So the number one versus the number four. And it's Ronnie that comes out on top. A 9-7 victory over Bet Victor. Uh, over Bet Victor. <laughs> over Mark Williams. <laughs> oh dear. Right, German Masters qualifying. We'll skip that. We don't, we're not bothered about that. Well, we've got the Masters now coming up. The second Triple Crown event of the season. Judd Trump won the first one. Who's going to win this one? Mark Selby or Mark Williams? Oh, Selby gets through 10-8 over Mark Williams. Ronnie made a 1-4-7. So, look like an exciting tournament. Mark Williams coming into a little bit of form going into the second half of the season, which is where, of course, all the ranking points lie, pretty much. The German Masters then, defending champion Kyron Wilson. This time it's going to be a left-hander, Robertson or Williams. Can you hear the thunder from down under? No, because Mark Williams has won it. The Welsh potting machine, the world champion. I think that might be his first tournament of the season. Correct me if I'm wrong. Oh, the first of the Coral Series, the World Grand Prix. Who's it going to be? I think Trump, yeah, Trump beat Ali Carter in the final this season and this time it's going to be Ronnie or Mark Allen that's Ronnie again 10-5 what a performance from Ronnie there Welsh Open then final leg of the Home Nations uh, series and it's Mark Williams or Judd Trump now Judd Trump's had a very good season so I'm actually going to back him in this 
and uh, rightfully so, nine in the deciding frame. The high brakes do seem to be a little bit low though. Everyone's favourite ranking event, the snooker shootout best of one frame. Anybody could win this, Tepchayo knew of course is the defending champion. Let's see what's going <laughs> to happen. Mark Selby or Judd Trump, oh, goodness me, I'm, I'm surprised at that. Um, but it is Mark Selby that wins it. Dave Gilbert, actually, World Championship semi-finalist, with the tournament tiebreak of a 1-1-7. The second part of the Coral Series takes place with the Players' Championship. Ronnie O'Sullivan versus Neil Robinson, a repeat of the final in real life. Ronnie beaten Neil by 10 frames to 4 last year, and this time it's 10-5. Neil could only get uh, one more frame than he did uh, last year, so Ronnie on a real roll this season, and uh, it could be hitting the, the 2 million mark by the end of the season. Gibraltar open then, what's going to happen in this one? Jack Lazowski gets to the final, and he's playing Ronnie O'Sullivan, and it's best of seven, I think, this final, so, you know, Lazowski has a chance. Oh, he just missed out, 4-3, but that's unlucky, uh, but Ronnie continues his role here, absolutely insane, and now into the Tour Championship, Mark Selby versus John Higgins, well... This is, this is going to be an interesting one. A repeat of the 2017 and 2007 World Finals. Who's going to come out on top? The Wizard of Wishaw. And what a performance that is. 9-1. It is meant to be best of 25 that. Hopefully that gets patched. But John Higgins overcoming Mark Selby by 9 frames to 1. Who would have believed that? Well, we've got the Championship League winners. I didn't bother doing each of the individual events. I just thought we'd skip straight to the final uh, league. And, uh, well, Judd Trump beats Ronnie again. Three frames to one this time. And going into the World Championship, that's going to be uh, quite a, you know, a, a good confidence boost for uh, Judd. China Robin, who's going to win this one? Mark Allen on Ronnie. Mark Allen beats Ronnie by 10 frames to 6. <laughs> Ding makes a 147 on, on home turf. That's uh, wonderful. But uh, let's have a little look at the, the rankings before we do uh, anything here. So Ryan Day made the highest break in qualifying. Um, we're just going to advance on a little bit. But before the last uh, event of the season, let's see what the rankings are then. Ronnie is well out in to on top. Uh, he's leading the way. Judd Trump has moved up to second. He's uh, the only other one in the Million Club. Mark Selby dips out of the Million Club down to third. Williams is uh, fourth with Allen in fifth, Higgins sixth, Robertson seventh, Kyron Wilson eighth, Ding ninth, Hawkins tenth, Murphy, Bingham, Brussel, uh, Maguire, Lezowski and Gilbert. So the, the top 16 still hasn't changed. Interestingly though, Dave Gilbert is being closed in on by Joe Perry, so a strong world championship for, for Joe Perry or Ryan Day or, some, or, or even Ali Carter could dislodge uh, David Gilbert from the top 16. So it all comes down to this then, all this simulation for the sake of it comes down to this world championship. Who's going to come out on top? Ronnie has been absolutely rampant this season. Is he going to get another world championship? We may well do. <laughs> he may well do. Roddy O'Sullivan versus Mark Selby in the final. A repeat of that 2014 classic where Ronnie uh, famously led 10 5 and uh, ended up losing it 18 14. But here we go. Who is going to do it? It's Roddy. He beats Mark Selby by 18 frames to 15 to win his sixth world championship and that is the end of the season i think you've got to advance for all of the the, the rankings to sort themselves out so we'll just do that very quickly uh, you can see we haven't done anything this season um but uh, there you go there's confirmation it is multiple seasons for those of you just wondering uh, but let's go into the rankings now and see what effect that has had. Ronnie is a million ahead of Judd Trump. 
in second. Mark Selby is up to third again, uh, with Mark Williams in fourth. Alan Higgins, Robertson, uh, but yeah, it looks like the top 16 has stayed virtually the same. Gilbert seems to have uh, gained quite a bit of money from that World Championship, so he obviously had a decent Crucible campaign. Uh, any surprises down here? Wilson still in 29th. I, I look at pointers to see if anybody's actually moved. Um, let's see the likes of Matt Manus and, and stuff. Yeah, they're all the same. What about Jimmy? Jimmy's knocked down one at 75, so it is changing a little bit. It's not changing as drastically as you might see in real life, but uh, you know, that's, that's the way it is, I guess. We're the only one that hasn't picked up anything this season and that's no great surprise but that is where we're going to leave it for today if you've enjoyed that make sure you leave a like down below really does help me out means a lot to me as well would you guys like to see another season of this or do you think it's just a sad idea that should never be revisited again let me know what you think down in the comments section below i hope you guys are having a wonderful day thanks for watching and goodbye